Welcome to Along for the Ride. I'm Marissa and we are so excited to share our experience at the Hotel Breakers Resort at Cedar Point. There is the lobby. You can see the coasters already going over there. There is a beautiful front entry to this resort and they do have luggage services available if you are to need it. Very nice looking though. All right, so here we have the main lobby front desk area, some carousel horses, nice seating areas. There's a hibachi restaurant and a Perkins. They also have a TGI Fridays, but that is in a different area. Some really nice stairs here. Let's check it out from up top. Really big open lobby here. It's really nice. Very spacious. Like all of the ride photos that they have as decor. That's super cool. Raptor and Blue Streak. Anna, which one do you like? All of them. All of them? Oh, so yeah. Yep. So these are all the Maverick. This is all Blue Streak, but happens to have some Raptor. And then it looks like there's a Camp Snoopy one. And let's see what else is down here. Yeah, so we have Planet Snoopy, I believe. And this looks like Millennium Force. Very cool. There's another view of the lobby. You can see the stairs from here and the nice shot of the horses. Okay, here's our hotel breakers room. To the left here, we have some storage space. We have hangers. We have an iron and ironing board, a safe, and a luggage rack. There's also the mini fridge, a microwave, and some towels for the pool specifically. And a nice shelf up top. As you enter the room, you will see a TV to your left and a nice dresser with some generously sized drawers. We have a cute little desk here. All very, um, kind of like carnival type themed, it seems to me. Very cute, kind of retro. We have our big window with our curtains, a nice chair to relax in. And then we have our beds and some really cute Ferris wheel decor. Love it, super fun. Looks like you get four pillows on each bed, which is really nice as well. This room is really spacious, I feel. Like I don't feel, you know, like too cluttered or anything. It's just very open and it's really nice. Um, Lots of spots for your luggage to go and everything. So I really, really like that aspect. Um, back towards the door here, we have our bathroom. Um, you can see in the bathroom there, we have um, everything that you need. We have the towels, there's a hair dryer, a nice sink space, um, all of the essentials for, you know, the bathroom and everything. Towels, tissues, a big, large mirror. And then we have the bathroom here. We do get a tub, which is fantastic, having a little one. A nice shower. Of course, a toilet. It looks like there is a bag for laundry as well if you needed to do laundry. So, this is a little uh, review of our room here. It looks like there's hooks in the shower too, which is interesting. It looks like a good spot to hang towels to dry. So that's nice, or even bathing suits. That's really cool. So here's our room. It looks like one thing I'm missing is maybe like a full length mirror. I think that would be something that um, I would want that I am not currently seeing, but they do have this small mirror here at the desk. So you could have someone um, use this mirror to get ready in the morning um, rather than the bathroom. So um, there is that extra space there, thankfully. But yeah, here's just a little snippet of our room and we'll see how our stay goes. Okay, out our window we have a really nice theme park view. You can see Top Thrill going right there. We have a nice shot of Magnum. There's Gemini and the water park. It's actually pretty nice. You can even see Millennium Force going over there. And then on this side you can see the Power Tower and Rougarou and Corkscrew. So this is a pretty nice view of the park. I know you get a lot of parking lot as well. 
Um, but I can't complain. It's kind of fun to be able to watch the ride. Fun fact about this chair here, this is actually a pullout. So this pulls out to be a twin size bed. So this is a great room if you have five people. Okay, so Kyle's gonna demonstrate how this can be pulled out. Again, this is great for families. Just an extra little bed here. Especially if you have like three kids, it would be perfect. So here's the, the bed pulled out there. Of course, you'd need to get the bedding put on, but that is how it goes. Anna is decorating the room. You can see she's put some stuffed animals all around. She's getting her toys out and ready. We got a little one over here. So cute. Good job. Where's that one going? In the drawer. Oh, there's extra pillows in there. That's probably the bedding for the pullout. So at the telephone guide here, there's the Peanuts wake up calls. So you can have them call to wake you up in the morning. That's pretty cool. entry when you walk into the resort. I really liked the carousel theme that they have throughout the lobby here. On entering the hotel there is the Breakers Boutique so they have a little shop here with all the necessities, merchandise, cute t-shirts and things. It's really cool in here. I'm just excited about all these Snoopy toys and stuffed animals. All sorts of hotel Breakers gear. Okay. Super cute. I like the, des the designs. They have the essential things that you may need. If you forgot them. Snacks, of course. Beverages. Ice cream. Bathing suits. Cute Snoopy stuff. Everything you could need. I like some of these shirts. We might have to buy one. We'll see. I got all sorts of little postcards, maps and things, really cute. I got sunglasses, hats, salt lake. It's a really cool like walkway area and I really like looking up at these lights. That looks pretty cool. So it's just a short walk from Hotel Breakers to the entrance of Cedar Point right by Magnum here. We are staying in um, this wing of the hotel with the red awnings, so it's very convenient. Okay, so here we have the map of Hotel Breakers. You will see it's divided into five sections. Um, so we were staying in section one, um, so you'll notice all of the floors have the um, level you're on and then the section number. So in this case, this was, um, we were on five, so floor five and section one of the hotel. This is section two, orange is section three. We have then section five kind of gets kind of split into two here. So there isn't really technically a section four, I suppose, um, but the yellow and the pink are kind of combined into section five. Um, so you can see the lobby and the main entrance are centrally located with all the restaurants. There is a pool um, towards the Section 5 area, also the children's pool. And then um, on the Section 1 and 2 side, there is the indoor pool in Section 2, and then near Section 1, the outdoor pool. And there are, um, as you can see, some like jacuzzi spa type things um, near the outdoor pools. Um, the beach goes along a little bit or the length of the entire hotel. Anna's just pointing to everything for us. But you will see as far as restaurants go, they have a Tomo Hibachi, a Perkins, a TGI Fridays, a Starbucks, and then the Surf Lounge and Sand Bar. So lots of really great things here, all the amenities that you need. Um, there is a laundry room and an arcade. Um, a luggage room so if you need to leave your luggage while you go to the park and yeah everything you could need over here there's a fitness room and the poolside parlor and then there's a conference center as well 
So um, very large resort here. Um, and I mean, literally right next to Cedar Point. So um, it's perfect place to stay if you do not want to have a long walk um, to your hotel room or drive. <laughs> One more thing is that they do have Domino's hot spots. So you can have Domino's delivered directly to your room or you can um, have them meet you at one of these hot spots um, near the pools and the beach. So that's a nice option as well um, if you're looking for something quick to eat. Some jacuzzis, it's kind of like a, almost like a little mini pool jacuzzi. And then there is the larger pool and it is right on the beach. Yeah. So you have beautiful views of the beach without the sand, which is really nice. So right on the beach as well is the TGI Fridays, which is connected to the hotel. So that is one of the eating restaurants that are available during your stay. Here we have the sand bar. So while you're enjoying your stay at the beach, you can grab a drink. We have all of the um, yard games, Jenga, Connect Four, bags, the beach volleyball. Here we have the surf lounge, so you can get some drinks. To my left is the Starbucks, and then you can look up and see some cool light. It's really cool, they have fire pits out here, so you can relax by the fire. There's hot tubs. There are uh, multiple outdoor pools out here, so you are sure to be able to find one, um, you know, that isn't overcrowded. Plus there's the beach and an indoor pool. So definitely lots of swimming options. It's really cool to see the water at night. It's hard to see in pictures. And then there's the beach, and then you can see all of the rides happening in the back there. And then the really nice hotel here. pool located right next to Friday's. The indoor pool. See the arcade through there as well and there's a jacuzzi. It is a nice and relaxing morning here at Hotel Breakers. It was so nice to be able to just crawl up in our beds. It was barely any walks from Cedar Point to our room and go to sleep. And we wake up and we're right where we want to be again. We're taking a nice stroll along the boardwalk. It is really nice. It was a little rainy this morning, so it's slightly damp, but still very relaxing and kind of calming. I kind of am really enjoying the sound of the waves over here. Um, so I definitely am enjoying my stay here. I kind of want to come back and stay a few more days just so we can see more of the resort sometime um, and like use the amenities because we have been kind of going so hard on uh, the Cedar Point side of things that it's kind of hard to enjoy the resort. So I think a long weekend or even a week trip would be really nice um, at this hotel. Okay, so here we have that little jacuzzi spot area. Very spacious. So here we have the pool in the section one area. It looks like it gets about five foot deep on one end and three feet on the other. It is a rainy day, so unfortunately we're not gonna be able to go in the pool, but it looks really nice. There's lots of seating. Anna's really bummed she can't go in, but like I said, it is pretty wet out here right now. Maybe if the day gets a little bit drier, we'll, we'll come back, but not now. The pool is typically open from 9 to 11. So here we have every little tables here. You can see nice view of the beach and the water. Very nice. So one thing that's nice here is they have some rooms that have like a little patio. Um, so you can go right out your door and to the pool or the beach. Um, another thing with the pool is it does look like they have um, life jackets available for little ones. It doesn't look like they have a ton of them, however, so it doesn't hurt to bring your own. But if you are in a pinch, they have them. But yeah, so I think it'd be really nice to stay at one of these little um, rooms 
with the pool view. So uh, in the mornings you can see there's lots and lots and lots of seagulls. So be aware of that. Another thing that is nice about this resort is that it is long and narrow. So if you are staying near like the section one area, um, you will be close to the Magnum entrance to the park. And if you're staying on the other side of the hotel, like the section five kind of area that I was talking to on the map, um, then you will be close to the Windseeker entrance. So either way, you have a nice close entrance um, to the park, very convenient. All right, so here we have the kids area. Um, there are some slides and a splash pad area. This reminds me a lot of um, the Michigan Adventure splash area with like the little boat that they have happening there. Um, it looks like it's shallow all the way through, so it's perfect for little ones. Yeah, this is like a little mini water park area for kids. It's, it's really cute. Anna's enjoying jumping all the puddles. <laughs> like she's having a good time. Starbucks already has quite a nice line this morning. It's around 10 o'clock, so the park um, just opened and people are ready to get their coffee. We have really enjoyed our stay here, Hotel Breakers. We're sad to go, but we know that we'll be back again soon sometime. Um, so we definitely would recommend this hotel. It's a great stay when you're planning your trip for Cedar Point. So be sure to check it out and let us know, have you stayed here before? Which of the um, Cedar Point resorts do you like best? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and please subscribe to our videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.